Hello everyone, here is a question based on stoichiometry. When a hydrocarbon A undergoes combustion in the presence of air, it requires 9.5 equivalents of oxygen and produces 3 equivalents of water. What is the molecular formula of A? Let us say we have a hydrocarbon CxHy undergoing combustion. Combustion reaction not only gives water but also CO2. Therefore, let us write it as CO2 plus H2O. We do not know how many carbon atoms are there. Let us keep it as X. We also do not know how many hydrogen atoms are there. Let us keep it as Y. In terms of oxygen molecule, it is given as 9.5 equivalents. Once we balance this equation, we can find out the correct molecular formula for this. We have x number of carbon atoms. Therefore, to balance the equation, we can simply multiply by x in front of CO2 because whatever be the number of carbon atoms, that many CO2 we will get. So, that is simple. When it comes to hydrogen, we have y here, but we cannot simply put y here because we have two hydrogen atoms in each water molecule. Therefore, whatever the number that we put here, it has to be multiplied by 2 because we have two hydrogen atoms in each water molecule. This means to balance this, we have to divide by 2. So, let me put it this way. Let us say you have C4H10 undergoing combustion. How many water molecules I will get in that case? We will get 5 water molecules, is not it? So, if this is y, then this is y by 2, is not it? So, the correct expression here is y by 2 here, so that we can balance it out. Let us balance the oxygen atoms. We have 2 here, so 2x plus we have only one oxygen atom in water. So, therefore, y by 2 times 1 is y by 2. But if we bring this expression over here for O2, then we once again have to divide this entire expression by 2, same like water. So, therefore, if we divide 2x plus y by 2 over 2, then that will become x plus y by 4 because half divided by 2 is quarter. So, y by 4. So, the correct expression here is x plus y by 4 that would give us the O2. But if we are talking about in terms of number of oxygen atoms, then it is 2x plus y by 2. Now, in the question, it is mentioned that it produces 3 equivalents of water. That means, y by 2 equal to 3. Therefore, y equal to 6. So, if y equal to 6, then x plus y by 4 is equal to 9.5. So, if we substitute this one here, then that will become 6 by 4. 6 by 4 is 1.5. So, x plus 1.5 is equal to 9.5. Therefore, x will be 8. So, this means C8H6 is the correct molecular formula. This means option 1 is correct. Let us cross check it. So, if we put C8H6 with 9.5 equivalence of O2, what we will get? We will get 8 times CO2 plus 3 times water. Do we have 19 oxygen atoms? Yes, we do. We have 16 oxygen atoms here and we have 3 oxygen atoms here. So, total 19 oxygen atoms we have. Therefore, our answer is correct.